All right, what's up, y'all? It's Kari Zane, and I'm back with another YouTube video. I'm gonna get straight into this video. This video was inspired by a TikTok that I saw recently. Um, it was a whole uproar about like this this masculine Zen girl. This that basically got into it with an elder and her family. Um, the elder basically said, "I love you, but I disagree with your lifestyle. Like, I don't accept, you know, that lifestyle." and the the person they kind of they kind of got upset about it they were you know going on and on saying how like christians how you know they don't, they don't really mess with christians because the elder was a christian how they don't really mess with christians because christians pick and choose their sins and da, 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 the whole rant which i just went on that rant recently on my page myself i said the same thing i said you know uh christians you know pick and choose their sins and stuff like that so I do agree with that person on that, but I feel like where we kind of make them, where we come in at and like we make mistakes as, you know, being, you know, quote unquote, like different or like, you know, um, not the norm or not, you know, the lifestyle that's very acceptable to a lot of different people. I don't know, but what I can say is I think where we messed up is being bothered. Like, why does we have to figure out, like, why does people not accepting us bother us so much? You feel me? Like, why does it kind of get under your skin? Like, I know it kind of get under y'all's skin because it kind of get under mine's too. And I'm trying to figure out why because it does not matter. That's just how somebody, somebody feels about you. And I'm guessing being that that situation it came from some uh, elder that was you know in the family that loved them and they you know they love each other i think it come like they just want them to deem them as acceptable and lovable you know love them like they love all everybody else i guess it's because we feel less loved i don't know but i just know together as a community we have to try to rise above this and be unbothered because i mean honestly what does being what is being bothered gonna do? Excuse me, but what is what is being bothered by how somebody feels about you or how somebody feels about the way you live your life? What does that have to do with you, for real? Like, honestly, you know what I'm saying? I know it can get kind of agitating, but like somebody said, bro, somebody said, um, at one point, like somebody was like. It's kind of secondhand embarrassment how other people, you know, get to talking about us and they're not as educated. So, and we know these people are not, you know, as educated um, and are kind of ignorant when it comes to, you know, these topics. And even if they aren't, if they have their own belief system, why are we still bothered by how, how they feel? Like, it really shouldn't bother you because it's your life at the end of the day. Live your life. You know what I'm saying? Um... We got to kind of, like, break that, like, break that kind of, like, being bothered. Like, just go on with your life. You know what I'm saying? Live your life without being bothered. Now, I understand that, like, some people, they will come picking with us. You know what I'm saying? They will come pick with us. You feel me? So, I can get that. But I'm saying when we go out and seek that type of attention and that type of, hey, pick me, accept me type of behavior, like, it's just, it's just... I don't know, it's just kind of, it's kind of embarrassing, it's kind of embarrassing to see, you know what I'm saying, and it's sad, because it's like, you're saying, like, pick me, just be you, you know what I'm saying, like, and it does not matter whether somebody pick you or not, like, you pick you, type stuff, you know what I'm saying, um, I think that all of us kind of have that underlying anger in us, and resentment towards people who we want to fully accept and see us, and they don't so we kind of like build up this anger and resentment towards you know them people you feel me um low-key low-key you know i could be wrong i'm not saying that everybody feels like this but like i can kind of i can kind of see it you know what i'm saying i can kind of see it um but i just want us to like release that anger and like let it go and realize that it does not matter you know what i'm saying realize that as long as you make it matter it's gonna bother you and um you may not see it but in small areas of your life it's gonna affect you 
in a negative way because you're holding resentment and anger toward and bitterness towards these people that you just die hardly wanting to accept. But if you let that go and you really become unbothered, bro, you will experience so much freedom within yourself and your identity. If you could just, you know, let that go. And like I always say in my videos, you already know my saying, it's easier said than done. Like a lot of that is just easier said than done. This is like, this dude get on here talking. Like he be talking like he, like he knows something or something. But he don't realize that that stuff is hard to do. But I know it is, it is hard to, um, you know, accept the fact that people may not, you know, um, like your lifestyle or agree with your lifestyle or agree with you. You know what I'm saying? But um, that, it's not about that. It's, it's about enjoying life while you're here. You feel me? Be glad you got the people that you have in your life and appreciate all everything that's going on good around you, you know what I'm saying, and don't be bothered by, you know, what's not there, or, you know, how you want somebody to fully accept you, and da 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 da, and all of that, because that's up to you to, you know, love yourself wholeheartedly, and, um, it's easier said than done, and, um, it is, I do agree that it is unfair that some people look at you and your lifestyle, and they're like, oh, well, you know, I love you, but I don't, I just don't accept that part of you. So that could be hard to, uh, that could be hard to deal with, you know, um, coming from someone that you love and you really want their acknowledgement and acceptance and that full love that you see that they may give to somebody else in your family. But you just got to remember that you got to remember who you are and remember that you stand on all 10. Like, this is who I am. And if you don't like it, oh, well, I love it. You feel me? But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I just wanted to drop that because, like, it was on my mind. It was on my chest. And I'm like, bro, I think, I, think, I think it's time. I think it's time for all of us a reminder of who we are and how, like, you need to just remain unbothered, bro. Don't go seeking that acceptance, that pick me, accept me. From anybody you know you stand on 10 you stand on who you are and go on with you go on with your life like don't waste time you know holding your hand up saying pick me you feel me but that's it for this video i'm out of here